the next presentation is PP62. It's on postural changes in drivers due to work-related sitting posture. Uh, the authors are Madhushani EAPN, Disanayaka WDN. The presenting author is Madhushani EAPN. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Bhumi Nadija, undergraduate physiotherapy student, uh, Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo. Uh, today, my post presentation uh, title is Prevalence of uh, Postural Changes uh, in Drivers According to uh, Their uh, Prolonged Work Related Sitting Posture. And uh, in, uh, when we look into the introduction, Prolonged work related postures have became, uh, become a main reason for abnormalities in postures in many occupational workers, uh, including drivers. And uh, objective of this study is to assess the relationship between uh, postural changes and prolonged sitting posture in bus drivers in comparison to uh, conductors group and methodology. Uh, this was a cross-sectional analytical study was done at Central Bus Stand and uh, uh, participation of uh, 50 bus drivers and 50 conductors. Uh, posture of the subjects was assessed by using a uh, posture analyzing mobi mobile application and uh, results were uh, high prevalence rates of postural deviations showed in uh, all three regions in both groups. In this study, I assessed uh, in three groups, uh, head, torso, and pelvis areas. Uh, significant correlations found uh, in head and torso areas among conductors in relation to working uh, years. And as mentioning here, uh, under category of uh, association between uh, working hours and prevalence rates of postural changes in drivers group showed uh, significant correlations in pelvis area and uh, uh, as a conclusion significant relationship uh, uh, found between uh, working uh, time and postural changes in pelvis area among drivers and in head and torso areas in conductors thank you is open for questions based on the same study yes so uh, the uh, postural uh, changes like you know how did you define them so like you know you assessed in th three segments of the body yeah. head toes and the pelvis yeah. so what are they like basically how do what are the important you know important clinically significant uh, postural changes yes. that would affect his you know day-to-day -day routine uh, I assessed the uh, the drive the subjects in uh, standing standing position mm. and uh, if there is a deviation from uh, normal uh, midline position uh, of uh, those three areas i have uh, i have included that uh, more than one degree of uh, deviations if they have uh, the included as result results no, but why I ask this question is like, you know, the people have various, you know, postures and they are not aware that this is the right posture, yeah. right? So naturally, like, you know, some people lean on walls, some people just like, you know, sit in different ways. Yes. So uh, without their, they, are, they were not aware that this is the right posture to be sort of standing position in the standing position or seated position. So you were given them uh, some sort of a position and assessed it or like, you know, how did you do that? Uh, I assessed in uh, standing posture. So you asked them to stand up? Yeah, stand up uh, in front of a postural grid okay. and take uh, took a picture right. uh, that uh, will automatically analyze the posture of uh, those three mentioned areas. Okay, right. Is any uh, practical and interesting one? I, I just want uh, <coughs> Uh, so, when you are interpreting these prevalences, yeah. so what's the main limitation? Do you have any idea? Uh, Especially the prevalences of these drivers and conductors. So, can you think of what is the main limitation with regards to the sample? Yes, actually, uh, they may have uh, some. Uh, uh, Already they may have uh, postural uh, deviations in their normal posture, but uh, I, I, uh, I had an inclusion criteria that uh, uh, if they have uh, uh, any trauma or back pain, uh, any symptoms uh, within uh, past five years, I didn't include them. 
so uh, I, I have tried to, to uh, minimize the uh, those uh, limitations to this study. That may be good, but Yeah, you may not be able to generalize the prevalences because you have taken the con uh, sa convenient sample. So that may be one of the major limitations yes. in this study. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that what I expected. Yeah, that was also All right, okay, so. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Please Thank give you a round much. of applause to the presenter.